Welcome back. And uh, today we have uh, we have our guests in studio. Oh, sorry. Maybe uh, maybe one of your friends has one, right? Uh, or maybe you have just seen it around. We are talking about rain barrels today. Mark Locked and Traquan Farmer with Clean Valley Council are giving us all the dirt on what they do and how to make one. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank Very you nice to be here. Thank you for inviting us. <laughs> we are so happy to have you here. I'm personally excited. I've wanted to know <laughs> all about this uh, for so long. So some folks at home may not have any idea what we are talking about. So what is a rain barrel and why should we have one? So there are um, a number of reasons why rain barrels are helpful. And uh, one is, is environmental. So especially in areas with a lot of um, impermeable surfaces like driveways and, and streets and parking lots, um, rain runoff carries pollutants into the streams. Um, another reason is you save money. If you collect mm. money, if you collect water from your roof, you, you don't pay as much in water from the city. I'm all um, in favor So rain barrel is just a way of, of, <laughs> of collecting water um, that comes from your, your roof. I love that. So uh, I know there's a lot of questions when it comes to it, but it really is uh, pretty easy to make one, right? Yes, ma'am, it sure is. Um, as far as the materials we use, we um, recommend a drill, specifically mm -hmm. this style, with the fact being it has a nice hand grip. Mm -hmm. So it's more safe, and you're actually going to have to use a lot of force to get the drill bit into the brain barrel. Mm -hmm. So using a handsaw like this would be, I mean, a drill like this would be a better recommendation. Mm -hmm. As far as the drill bits that you will be using, we have right here a circle saw. Uh, we've used this in many of our rainbow workshops, hence the reason why it looks like it's been worn down <laughs> a little. But um, we recommend this, but one thing to keep in mind if you use a circle saw is the plastic does get hot, so it does get lodged in there sometimes. Mm -hmm. So something simple as a pocket knife or force, uh, some uh, force grips will actually get that plastic out. Mm -hmm. But we actually recommend a forstner bit right here. It's about 24 meters in diameter. I mean millimeters in diameter and it actually gives you nice clean circles to actually put those bits in. Mm -hmm. um, those are for the spigots, right? Yes mm -hmm. ma'am. Um, these are the spigots we use. We have a, a three-quarter inch spigot right here that we use for the faucet as well as a another spigot right here. This is called a hose adapter. This is for anybody who wants to actually make more than one rain barrel. You can actually hook the hose adapter to another rain barrel mm -hmm. so you have two rain barrels at okay. once. Awesome. Or if it's any overflow, you can actually have the water just overflow out of this spigot here. Okay. Mm -hmm. As far as other things to keep in mind material wise, you would actually like some mosquito netting. This is for those who might want to drill, ho drill holes into the top of the rain barrel mm -hmm. like so. If you look closely here, we actually have two caps that you can actually unscrew with the fact being you don't necessarily have to drill holes. Okay. You can actually hook your rain barrel to the um, gutter if you would like. Um, I know Mark here actually has a rain barrel himself and he actually does the uh, gutter attachment technique. Mm -hmm. um, Mark, how did that go? Did you so for 17 or 18 dollars you can buy a gutter diverter mm -hmm. um, and you just attach it to your gutter and it moves the water through into a different into a different pipe. And then I hooked up a hose from the gutter diverter to this and and water goes from the gutter into the rain barrel and you need a couple holes on top so there's air mm -hmm. flow and this will keep the mosquitoes out. And I think what's really great too is that uh, you're with Clean Valley Council and you guys have workshops throughout the year. Um, so say, it, you provide everything for everyone too? Is that how it works? Yes, we do, <laughs> except the labor. So we expect everybody <laughs> to do their own drilling. Yeah. But we provide everything else. And the, mm -hmm. the rain barrels themselves have been donated generously from um, uh, Coca-Cola Consolidated, mm -hmm. and uh, they don't they don't reuse them, so it's great for us oh, to be able to reuse them, yeah. take them off their hands. Absolutely. Uh, and then people come to these workshops. We usually help hold one or two in the spring, one or two in the fall, and one in the summer. Okay. And real quick, uh, where can folks go to learn more information? Our website, cleanvalley.org. Okay. Um, we, yep. we, we, we announce these things. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Looking forward to seeing more of what you guys do. I know you guys do a lot of great things for the environment. Thank you so much for Thank joining us today. Thank you very much today. for having Thank us. Yeah, appreciate it. it. Stick around. We'll be right back.